and welcome back to Junk Jody. Today I'm going to be telling the story of Happy by Nicola Edwards and Katie Hickey. This story takes you on a journey to learning mindfulness through some simple steps. Mindfulness is something I practice every day and it's a great skill to learn. One you can carry with you throughout your life. So let's begin. Happy, a children's book of mindfulness by Nicola Edwards and Katie Hickey. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is all about connecting with ourselves and the world around us. Let's take a journey together to discover some simple steps on the path to happiness. Real life is right under our noses. We can miss it by rushing around, but stopping to smell life's sweet roses is where true happiness can be found. Listening. When we are still, there is space then to listen to the sweet song of wind in the trees, the gruff rumble of cars in the distance, or the whisper of rustling leaves. Take a moment to stop and really listen to the sounds around you. Feeling. Even the darkest storm passes. The sun can't shine bright every day. We can sit with our feelings and notice how they roll through us, then blow away. What kind of things make you feel happy? Relaxing. It's not just our minds we get trapped in. Our bodies can feel tension too. We can loosen our limbs when that happens. Like the sun from the clouds, we break through. Try tensing up all of your muscles and then relaxing them one by one. Tasting. Whether hot, salty, sweet or sour flavour. We taste and we chew and we feel. If we slow when we eat, we can savour the deliciousness of every meal. Do you notice different textures and flavours when you chew your food slowly? Touching. Touch calms the wildest emotions. We connect to the world all around. When we dip our toes into the ocean or crunch crisp golden leaves on the ground, close your eyes and see if you can tell what things are just by touching them. Discovering. Exploring is one of life's pleasures. Spot a penny, a shell or a rook, the world's brimming with curious treasures. For the people who take time to look. Look all around you and try to spot something you haven't noticed before. Smelling. When we are all tangled up in our worries, the cooler air gets us grounded again. Wood smoke through the sharp tang of pine trees or the freshness of earth after rain. Do the things you can smell make you feel anything or bring back any memories? Loving. The warmth of a hug can work wonders. Being happy is something you feed with a smile or a touch or a kindness. Even the tallest tree grows from a seed. Have you given someone a smile or a hug today? Appreciating. It feels good to give thanks at the day's end. For the pink blushing sky overhead. A hot meal, comfy shoes or a good friend. And the warmth of a soft, cosy bed. What good things have happened in your world today? Breathing. We breathe deep and expand like the galaxy. We breathe out many thousands of stars. 
And if ever we start to feel panicky, this reminds us of just who we are. Take a deep breath. Hold it for two seconds. And then breathe out very slowly. Happiness! Real life is right under our noses. It's what's here, not the future or the past. Every day is a fresh new adventure. Now we live in the moment at last. How can you be more mindful each and every day? And there we have it everyone, the story of happy by Nicola Edwards and Katie Hickey. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, comment and click subscribe. I would love to know your thoughts on this book and I'll be sharing more books on mindfulness and well-being soon. So stay tuned and stay safe. Bye everyone. <laughs>